Let the channel mind feeling. Tonight, the adventures of a fairy princess, starring Lady Alida Siegel as the pretty princess and Sir Christopher Pearson as the gallant, handsome princess. Prince, sorry. Mark West as the squire, John Van Der Zee and Scott West as the, uh, the dreadful zombies, also starring the children of Grand Teller, not forgetting Rodney Golding of the, as the wicked wizard, and Anne de Boer as our friendly witch. Our story begins in the middle of the forest where the beautiful princess is having her hair combed by some of her lovely ladies. Aren't you beautiful, Alita? Mm, yeah. The princess sits in the forest, getting her hair done. But what's this? In the background, we see the wicked wizard sneaking up behind her with these dreadful zombies. They come closer and closer, and the wizard is watching with the dreadful zombies. Mmm, dreadful. Johnny, you haven't looked that good for years. The wicked wizard comes closer, as do the zombies. They sneak up behind the fairy princess. Coming closer and closer and closer. All of a sudden, the beautiful ladies jump up. They don't know what's happening. They run away and leave the fairy princess who's fainted on the spot. The wicked wizard congratulates his zombies on a job well done. and says, let's carry her off. He picks up some dust, throws it in the air, and all of a sudden, the zombies, wicked wizard, and princess have disappeared. Meanwhile, in the better part of the forest, our handsome prince comes galloping in on his gallant horse, Taffy. Well there, Taffy. Followed by his gallant sire. Help, help, the prince is being carried off, says one of the servant girls as she runs towards the handsome prince. She doesn't know what to say. She just gets all confused and keeps talking. And the prince can't understand what she's saying. Come on now, let's get it straight, says the prince. What actually did happen? The young girl explains the best she can. And the prince decides, let's go and see if we can find the fairy princess for ourselves. Squire, put her on your horse. The squire jumps up and lets the little girl get on. Then the squire has a girl. Come on, Mark, get on your horse. Now try it again. That's better. And the two go galloping off into the forest, looking for the beautiful fairy princess, who, as we know, has been captured by the wicked wizard. Meanwhile, back at Puffing Billy's tracks, we see the beautiful princess, and the wizard wants to marry her. No, no, I won't marry you, says that beautiful princess. Right, seeing you won't marry me, says the wicked wizard, I'll put you down on the Puffing Billy tracks. Tie her to the tracks, he said to his zombies. The wicked wizard lays her on the tracks and he and the zombies go running off to watch what's going to happen to the princess. Meantime, Puffing Billy is on its way. Its usual crowd of children leaving the station, all happy and gay, not knowing that just a couple of miles down the track, a beautiful princess is lying there, destined to be run over.
The beautiful princess lays helpless on the tracks. She can hear the trains coming through the rails. She can't do a thing. Help, help, she cries, but that's useless. Meanwhile, the train comes closer and closer. The little girl's heart beats faster and faster. It's coming closer and closer, but what's this? Here comes the handsome prince and his wonderful squire. The prince arrives just in the nick of time. Or is it? He better hurry up. The train's coming around the bend now. What will happen to the princess? Hurry, squire, hurry. The prince makes it just in time and picks up the beautiful fairy princess off the tracks with the help of his squire. They decide to go back to the prince's castle as it seems to be the safest place to hide the fairy princess because if the wicked wizard will strike once, he's liable to strike twice. The wicked w the wonderful handsome prince instructs his squire to lay a trap for the zombies and catch them and kill them. So the squire, with the hope of some of his men, decide to plant a trap, hide in the bushes and jump them when they come. So the four go hiding in the bushes while the squire lies down, pretending to be asleep. The wicked wizard sends the zombies to kill the prince and the squire. They come creeping in, not knowing what's going to happen. When all of a sudden, as they grab the squire, out of the bushes comes four of his men. They grab them, put them down on the ground. Will they capture them, or will they kill them? No, they've killed one of the zombies. What are they going to do with the other one? Oh no, there's another one dead. Oh, look at the blood. Meanwhile, the handsome prince starts discussing how can we catch and kill the wicked wizard. They decide to ask the friendly witch for her help. The friendly witch lives just down the brook along the stream where the ferns grow wild and the rocks look beautiful. She's always been a friendly witch. She likes to help anyone that's in trouble and the prince and the squire are in trouble this time. They must get rid of the wicked wizard. So to the witch's lair they go, and the witch, whose part's taken by Anne de Boer, is sitting there stirring some of her special brew. Come closer, come closer, says the friendly witch. So the squire and the handsome prince sit down and begin to tell the princess, tell of the princess and how she's been captured and how they need to catch the wicked wizard and how can they do it. Suddenly the friendly witch has an idea. You need a magic potion. Here, plant this just near where the wizard's liable to come and we'll trick him. Give us a smell, says, oh, squire, didn't like that one very much. And just to make sure, we'll put up a sign, not for wicked wizards. That's sure to get him in. So the handsome prince and the squire thank the friendly witch for her advice. They go away and decide to plant the trap for the wicked wizard.
Aha, not for wicked wizards. We'll see about that. The wizard picks up the drink, looks at the sign, takes one drink. Mmm, not nice, not bad. Takes another. Suddenly, it grabs him at the throat. It goes down towards his stomach. And what's this? The wicked wizard's turned into a frog. So that was the magic potion of the friendly witch. Meantime, back in the village, the princess is now safe and can leave by her own. But the prince, who I think's fallen in love with the princess, decides to take her out of town herself, and the villagers all wave goodbye. Taking the leading roles in this film were Alita Siegel as the fairy princess, the wicked wizard was Rodney Golding, zombies were Scott West and John Vandersee, the handsome priest was Chris Pearson, Squire was Mark West, and the wicked witch was Anne de Boer. And they all lived happily ever after. That's the end.